Wow, you guys have to type in chat. Type. I talked that whole time. I talked what? Five minutes with my mic muted. Not even. Just a few minutes. The summary of what I was saying was GPLA is passed. Didn't uh, do too great. I think blue black is very strong. It's very hard to play though. Uh, takes a uh, lot of mental fatigue. Out of, you know, out of you in the past longer events. It's certainly difficult. Uh, very strong though. If I had to play rack, I'd probably be playing blue black. Uh, I have a poll up there. Poll, uh, apostrophe poll, so straw poll. I posted on Facebook, Discord to see what version of rack I play next. Um, but in the meantime, we're looking at this black red mid range deck called Rat moon with the namesake being four pack rats and the three blood moon uh, just very good black and red cards fatal pushes inquisitions lightning bolts for the bobs you have dark confidant and the red gets you a little higher obviously color commands a very strong card uh, a bunch of lilies so it's it's very much up our alley the same people who like watching eight rack i think will enjoy this deck it's a little different i'm not giving up on rack or anything crazy i'm just having some fun uh while we figure out what version of the rack to play next and uh, we're learning how to do this deck. So I made a tab in the, my sideboard guide uh, for this. So we need to uh, work on it because our sideboard game is pretty weak. So let's just jam some games. So we're always taking the play here. Seems like a fine hand. We're on the draw, but we would have taken the play. We'll keep. Opponent mulliganing versus uh, thought sees is nice. Six demon bag. Sensational. What's in it, eh? Oh, I missed the news that. Rogue Goblin. Appreciate the host, man. Thanks, we're going to run some uh, Rat Moon today. Looks like we'll open with a Thought Cities. Oh, we got a rat and a moon, so. Okay, so Path is super strong against Rat, so we'll get rid of Path. Uh, basically, anti creature hand. Verdict is really good. You know, you choose different ways to lose. Like with 8 Rack, you lose to like Jace and Teferi Planeswalkers. Against this, you lose to like Supreme Verdict and stuff. It's finding a different way to lose, but uh, it's fine. It's definitely a different way to win, also, just running people over with creatures, not trying to make them discard. You know? It doesn't take many turns for the Pack Rats to, uh, to get out of hand. But yeah, thank you, uh, Rogue. Appreciate that uh, host. So, uh, yeah, we just run out the rat here. We took his uh, pass, so hopefully he doesn't have another. And then uh, we have to watch out for Detention Sphere. Detention Sphere is very strong against Pack Rat. Uh, assuming we can stick this, um, I'll probably Blood Moon. Uh, and if he doesn't counter Blood Moon, he's in deep shit. <laughs> he has a single planes. Uh, if he plays the planes instead of the flooded strand, and then the flooded strand becomes useless, that's uh, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, or another hallowed fountain. Okay, so we hope he doesn't have counter spells, but I think you go for the win, which Blood Moon essentially is a pretty strong uh, thing for him to deal with here. So he's in trouble. He's got three mountains now. So he's ways off Supreme Verdict. He has a plane though. So if he draws a path, uh, he could get rid of Pack Rat, which would be annoying. And then, uh... so we'll definitely. Uh... This is like tough. I haven't exactly figured out in this situation if it's better to Rabble Master or just start making more rats. I and right now how I'm playing it is just making more rats, but. You do get blown out to uh, Detention Sphere that way. 
so you don't want that to happen. But uh, he's pretty hurting on mana. I guess he just needs a blue for Detention Sphere. So it's probably better to Rabble Master. Um, he's two away from Supreme Verdict. Um... Probably. Uh, should we go ahead and get two rats on him? It might be better. Uh, we gotta watch out for Supreme Verdict. Detention Sphere. Maybe we hold back the Rabble Master as a follow up after one of those moves. We might be able to beat him down if we can just hit him for... We'll see how it goes. This is why you have to play a lot of reps with the deck. But you gotta watch out what you're gonna get hit by. This is weaker to Detention Sphere. Uh, but at least it has a follow-up to Supreme Verdict. Which we know he does. One white and three red. Cast out? Cast away, whatever it's called. One white and four red. Okay. Well, maybe he was trying to cast a Teferi or something. Hmm. Close to lethal here. If we get in for six, next turn he's going to Supreme Verdict. Oh, he can't. So since he's short on the two lands, we can, uh, we can make another token here. Probably end step bolt so I can finish him off next turn if I don't draw land. Seems solid. We got six in hand. Got no more white. Oh, he got a white. Okay. It's important because we still have lethal. You can do it a few ways. You can make a rat here. You can do whatever. We saw his hand, so it's more of just like if we didn't see his hand, what would be best? Well, he got rat mooned. <laughs> what a f that's the first game we got a rat in the moon. That's that's how that can work against uh, control. So against control, I'm liking Molten Rain and Chandra. Um, whether or not we bring in these collective and Thoughts is is uh, so actually Culligan's command is pretty bad since they actually uh, uh, exile a lot of your things. Yeah, I probably like a Thoughtseize over like terminate probably. This leaves us no answers for his man lands, but maybe we keep a couple of fatals and I 
I'm, I'm liking the land truck in, on them. I haven't really got a chance to see it in action, but... Chandra might be a little greedy. Chance of landing a four mana card on them. Can maybe trim a pack rat here. Detention Sphere is super strong against this. I kind of like just having as many permanents as possible, though. Mm, bring back in a rat, keep the thoughtsies. Chinese black, Chinese black magic. Aitas, hey, appreciate the follow, man. Thank you very much. I think I saw there might have been another one there. I'll check the labs. Appreciate it, though. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is really what we're working on. Uh, I have the guides, you know, for 8-Rack. One of the tabs now is called Rat Moon. And uh, I'm trying to work on the sideboard guide. This list is the guy who 5 0 so I'm trying to think about how he would board. He would certainly know better. Um, I feel like all these permanents are really good. And their man lands are just pretty key. You know, I, it's different. I can't hide behind a bridge or, like, understand how this deck worked compared to a rack but we're gonna try and we're gonna basically work on the cyborg guide and until we have a detailed idea for at least like the top 10 decks control being one of them it's we're we're very shaky <laughs> on this list we played it last night in paper uh it did really did well it was fun but um we don't know how to sideboard yet so if you guys have any thoughts uh the list you do apostrophe deck pull up the list and uh, let me know. All right, our opponent is deciding what the fuck just happened to him? I think he's trying to figure out. He's a guy got killed by these pack rats, and then he had a blood moon. <laughs> Someone's like, "Yeah, it's rat moon." Ah. Uh. I guess we have to mulligan. It's not enough gas, but if Bob stuck, ugh. And then we'd be able to almost guarantee get the rain off. We don't have to mulligan this. It's a little better, I guess. We need to get that third land quick. We'll be able to fetch her back so she won't be at the bottom, but... Well... Guess we need to get some creatures down. That first deck would have been, that first hand would have been great. Okay, we gotta keep Bob alive. Okay, so this game is gonna rely on Bob living. Yeah, I was, I was thinking Thoughtseed. I just can't figure out how to, uh, how to fit it. It's like, I, the permanents are so good too. Probably cut, uh, Maybe some some combination of uh, the last game I played in control. I cut some pack rats, and that that didn't feel great. I should have fetched his end of the turn there. Let's give ourselves a punt. Just was going a little fast. It's not going to make a difference, but that's still a punt. Should have fetched. Uh, which one do we stick first? You know, both of these are pretty good. I guess we stick Bob, because we the pack rat is probably better. <laughs> which one do we want him to get rid of? Maybe we actually want him to get rid of the pack rat. Because we kind of we we're kind of hurting for lands. 
So maybe, uh, maybe we stick Rat here. But just running him over with Rats is such a good plan. But if we don't get three lands, the Rat does nothing. Oh, but if he pass, we'll get the third land. Okay. So the fact that his, his removal is most likely path, uh, I'm going to Bob. Because if we get the third land going, then uh, we might be able to multiply some rats before we Supreme Verdicts. Ooh, Blood Moon be good. This is fine because, oh, I guess it'll, he'll have path still. Grab the swamp. Grab the swamp. All right, Bob, how about a land? Okay, collective brutality. Treadbore. Uh, we can't brutality him, so, uh... It was smart of him to feel just to get a basic up, because I could have, in theory, Blood Moon this turn. So that was, that was good on his part. Good thinking, uh, sorry I had the chat away, but, uh, ATAS, okay, Miracle, good luck, got Miracled, come on, land, oof, okay, so if you stumble, first control, we're probably, uh, gonna lose, so, it's okay. Of course, that's the end of the battlefield. Look at the top of your card, your library, put one of the hand and the rest of your bottom. Okay, so I guess I just let him get that and bolt it. Court Hussy, okay. It's tapped out now so that uh, we'd probably go with the last hope. Hope he doesn't have a. Uh, Basically, a detention sphere or a. Uh... Well, that's rude. Okay, just bold it. Come on, fetch. <laughs> the mute of all. So we have a black red. We could have all red if we if we use Blood Moon. Blood Moon's kind of hurting us. Keeps them off double blue. It hurts our future fetches though. Yeah, we can't bother it. I don't think there's anything we can do here. If you have any uh, ideas. Again, I'm totally new to this deck, so I'm happy to... I'm always happy to listen, but extra specially happy to listen. What the fuck? This guy running. Sword of Light and Shadow. Looks like Mutavolt beats are the way to, to get there. Let's go, baby. Okay, okay. You do only run 21 lands. So you're similar to like Grixis Death Shadow in that you are weak to land destruction. Mm -hmm. 
Poor Muck. Okay. This guy must be ready. Protection from white and black, not red. Swamp. I almost want a blood moon now. All right, let's see if we can keep the lily alive for uh, a couple turns. Our path to victory is now a lily emblem. You know what we should have done? Instead of thinking about the Lily Emblem, we're not used to playing all these fucking creatures. We should, we're gonna, I think that's a punt. We should have just brought back Bob. With her minus, definitely. Forgot all about that. Well, that's why you guys are here as we go through some learning pains. That was certainly a misplay. If this guy ends up getting path and we're able to grab another swamp, uh, we'll definitely blow him at that point, but I don't think it's doing much for us right here yet. Oh, yeah, we should have Bob out right now. Which would be pretty nice, so. Remember, Lily hopes minus two. Don't have a clean answer for sort of light and dark there. All right, we got a rat. Can pull a creature back from his graveyard. Nah, it's it's too slow. You mean terminate? I mean, he's got this, uh, he's got protection from black and, and flying, a uh, black and red, white and black. So this, he's got protection from this. Oh, bedevil. Does that hit what enchantments and artifacts too? Another land would be great. Yeah, we're going to lose here to, to getting valued out, but. Oh, to kill the sword, yep. Yeah. It was good bouncing the spreading seas back to uh, my mutable there. This guy's got a pretty janky uh, white equipment list, almost like he was praying for Stoneforge, but we got the jank also. We we couldn't afford to, to make that misplay with Last Hope. We should definitely have uh, pulled her back.
Got two more turns for him to finish this off, but might as well play it out. We're trying to learn everything we can. Can at least brutality one of these. Uh, the sword is making it difficult. There goes our blocker. Whoops. Yep. Going through the motion, I'm basically dead. I, I don't think I have any way to remove this. The Lily Edict won't cut it because he's going to have another creature here. Sun Titan! Nice! <laughs> Sun Titan Flicker Wisp action. I love it. So okay, we'll be on the play uh, next uh, setup. I like it. I was thinking this was just straight up control. This is. Very much different. Uh, let's see what next card we get. Okay. Surprised us a bit with the ley line. That was good on his part. We still could have hung in there. I don't think we would have won. Uh, he had a little too many, uh, too much value there. Okay. The dread boars and molten rains are not necessary. Probably want to get Colligans back. Anger could be good. Uh, he has a lot of recurrence. If we don't hurt ourselves with that, maybe a Shatterstorm. Seems like uh, we can get rid of some of this uh, removal here. You don't want to get completely blown out by a... Uh... That seems fine. Pretty thick amount of threats we have. Alright, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Play first? Yes. It's crazy. Shit is crazy. Um... We keep. It's Blood Moon on the play is decent. Uh, he's going to probably Ley Line us, so this is bad. But I'm looking at everything but this. And these six cards are pretty good. Okay, we have a lot of threats that aren't uh, target them. <laughs> so... Goal now is to keep Bob alive. If not, we'll, we can K command him back. Blood Moon kind of hurts us here. 
We're gonna be able to fetch a single swamp, but uh Okay, well that kills one of his He usually taps her white, right? Yeah. So even though it hurts us, I think we go for it. Now we definitely go for it. Because we have a lot of plays. Even if we drew lilies and stuff, it wouldn't, wouldn't matter. Our plan now is to run them over with pack rats. Oh yeah, we rogue. We haven't. Uh, okay, he's got red, red, blue. We need to figure out how to sideboard and play the deck before we take it into a league. It, or else you just a liability games two and three. It's like you can play game one, like you know, I know the deck. Uh, okay, so now we're all about reds. We'll see if the blood moon hurts us. Gotta learn. We gotta try it. Blood moon was taking two of our lands there, but unless you do plays like this. You don't know who, who it hurts more. We have a Bob. Bob can draw us uh, other gas. Rabble Master, that's good. We'll see if this aggro approach is good. I think you're right. I haven't seen you uh, around, uh, Aitas. I don't know if you're from Rogue Stream or just happened to show up today. Appreciate you uh, following, dropping in. We usually do nothing but uh, eight rack and uh, some legacy pox here. But like I said, I tried this deck last night in paper, just messing around. It was kind of like joking. It's a lot of fun. So it's a nice little break from eight rack. It's, most of the people I think like the same same type of cards and stuff. So. If I can make people Thoughtseize, you know, and then Dark Confidant, I got Lilies, Chandra, Blood Moon, Pack Rat. I mean, it's all cool cards. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll play that. Shout out to at Nix from uh, Discord, because he was there. I was short four Black Leaf Cliffs, four Black Fetches, two Call Against Command, Hazard, and Kalidus. So I was like, there's no way I can play this deck. I'm just. He's going to sacrifice him. Okay. He's going to scry and sacrifice him. I guess that makes sense. Um, but he let me borrow all those cards. And I was like, uh, I was meeting some guy up there to sell something on Craigslist too, separately. And so like right before the event, I'm trying to like get these cards from him and sleeve them up. And then meet this guy who shows up like, oh, you ready to do this deal? So fucking, uh, Nyx ends up sitting there and sleeving them for me like at 720, 725, right before the event. 7:30 event starts. I got the deck. It's like all new sleeves. I'm like scrunching it together, but it was fun. First match was against Coco. Uh, beat him. Swamp. Just make sure everything requiring black. How did that guy not die from pain white? Well, it's just <laughs> certainly hurting us. The Blood Moon. <laughs> we keep Bob back, but, uh. Looks like he's chumping one token his urn. This is when, like, Chandra would be great. <laughs> I got nothing but red. Well, I'm only hitting him for five. Mm, he's got enough time to verdict. Alright, he's staying alive. So this very well may have just been a, a big mistake, Blood Mooning, but we'll see. Oh, I 
like it. I like it. Copy and Rabble Master. Didn't see that coming. Mm, we just need a swamp. Jesus! I think we just lose now. Yeah, I think we just lose. The Blood Moon, I guess, was a little too greedy, knowing that he had Spreading Seas. Double chump these guys. Don't really have a better option. If I attack with the Rabble Master, it's at least killing one. Something. It's just killing him, basically. Well, I have to attack with him. Okay. Lesson learned be a little more careful if you don't have basics with Blood Moon. I knew everything we had. My thought process was everything we have works great off one black. I wasn't thinking we need double black for anything, because lilies weren't important. Um, but I, I wasn't really thinking about the spreading seas on the swamp, even though he had just done that. So, so if he attacks the Rabble Master, we're going to sacrifice Bob. If not, we'll probably keep Bob for a turn. Yeah. Okay, he's bringing the house. So we block there, trade one, we take one, two, three, four damage. Now I got is it mm -hmm. one, two, three. I'm trying to think of if a uh, black source will get us there. Not sure. I don't think so. We would need the Culligans, him. Okay, GG. We gotta learn our lesson somehow. We blood mooned ourselves out. Didn't draw the swamp that we need. I think one swamp we would have won. Uh, deck was feeling good. Can't be upset with making a little uh, mistake like that. No thing. Let's run it back. I think I think we had him, had him uh, licked. We had the gas in our hand. I mean, we would have just run him over. It seemed like a smart play at the time, at least knowing that uh, if he didn't have exactly that seize on the swamp, we would we just wouldn't have lost. It's not a great hand, but uh, it's turn one thought seize and it has a rabble master and removal. So I think we keep this. Okay. Of course, when you once you have a keep a five lander, you know, or four lander, you're gonna draw absolutely nothing but uh, lands. So that's empty geo action. Maybe you should have fetched to shuffle them. I'm guessing the top like 15 cards in my deck are uh, lands. <sighs> Control.
What is the Zar Zarya? Yeah, if he'd be able to take control of Rabble Master. Faithless just might be better to take though. Uh, he's gonna be able to cycle a couple times. What is our play? Dreadboard the Neonate? No, that seems weak. Our turn three play is to play Rabble Master. He'll steal Rabble Master. It's just till the end of turn though. You may cast a card. I'm thinking it's Faithless Looting here. I'm not sure. Well, we're learning. We don't want to take too much time. But if you guys have a different thought process, let me know. Kind of just have to jam just hundreds of games, so. I mean, assuming we draw another land here and another land, I guess probably save Dreadboar. Yeah, I mean, he'd be able to just react to sack him. So it's going to be land pass this turn, I guess. See, you have to just talk jump about MTGO enough. I guess we could just fetch a basic swamp here. I mean, yeah, with the living end. Well, can they cast the? Does it give them the free uh, suspend cards? Is that? Can you do that with? Uh, I wasn't thinking he'd be able to cast the suspend card off the carries up. Can you? I guess. That's probably why he's running it. Mm. Okay, we are learning. Cause we were just talking about Yeheni's expertise in the black deck. Do like restore balance after it. <laughs> okay. Not bad. We slowed him down a bit with the faceless. Faithless. So let's see if he takes control of Bob and attacks. Nope. So he doesn't have it yet. Does he have it? Wow, he had it, okay. Okay, so why did Bob die? What he, he didn't have anything to sacrifice to. Why did Bob die from uh from this? Oh, okay, yeah, living it. Yep. Okay, so the carry Zev expertise is certainly a better play. We could just slow him down here with a dreadbore. It's not a lot of tempo. Maybe we Rabble Master. Rabble Master just gets in, but at least next turn he can attack. Yeah, I think we Rabble Master, sack a token. Hope we get another two drop next turn to do four mana play. I think we have to kind of maximize our turn three play here. Appreciate you guys hanging around, you know, seem extra newbie look going through a new deck, but it's all good. See if we can pull out some good plays here. Get better at it. Main thing is sideboarding, so we're gonna have to pay a lot of attention uh, post board how to figure out how to board versus all these matchups. That hurts. It's one extra card. I'll push. He won't block it. I mean, he's gonna. I think we have to push to get rid of it, anyways. Push and Dreadbore and attack, and hope we have an answer next turn. I think so.
See if he's holding something good. Okay, he wasn't. I think we have to try to get in here with everything, even though we died to a bolt. Well, maybe we'll hold back. Fourteen. Fourteen if we attacked. Right, hell, what up man? See you on Discord a lot, appreciate it. We have to keep him back to block this time. I guess we just keep the Lava Mancer back, fuck it. Fuck it. So we uh, we didn't attack last time around Master, which would have been a three. So if we're thinking he, he could he could be an eight right now, which is uh, pretty low. MPGO's got some weird interaction. Hell yeah, man! That's how you gotta do it. Just try to w go two two at your local place, two one, and maybe three one. What's all about? Just winning locally, you know what I'm saying? GG, GG. Okay, so let's think about how to sideboard uh, for this. Uh, I guess first thing, let's just look at how we board with our other decks. Uh, it's usually a lot of uh, graveyard hate, and we get rid of things like uh, fatal pushes and stuff. Uh, it does have a couple neonates though, but probably not worth it. So we want our ley lines. Uh, probably damnation. Is our direct removal not great? Like fatal push. Last hope's right bad. Neonate's not a huge threat. We're not going to remove it. Um, what else isn't great here? Blood moon's pretty bad, right? Yeah. Probably bring it to Chandra. Maybe a Thought Seize just to get rid of Living in. Damn, hell yeah, man. Yeah, Phoenix, once you play it a lot, you'll, it feels comfortable. And they can still run you over, but you really have to play it a lot and realize, like, am I, can I hold out a little longer? If you can squeak a little bit of value out of them, you can, can really win. And then also how to mulligan versus them is also very important. So I think we go down to like five here, looking for ley line. Maybe not. Uh, let's just see. I don't think we need to dig too deep here. <laughs> I think you're right, man. Appreciate you uh, helping me out. Oh, one lander. It's got an Inquisition and a ley line. Oh, how greedy are we? All right, well, wait a minute. How are you guys feeling this? It's not bad. The one lands are pretty bad. We only run 21 in the whole deck, so. Give a second to, to think if anyone has a, a goal here. Well, my dream could be a better six, you know. Greed is real. All right. Yeah, exactly. This is like an eight rack keep, but in Rat Moon, and we're on the play. We'd have to draw. Nah, we can't keep this. But I don't know. The ley line might really shut him down. This is pretty fucking greedy. We're gonna mulligan. It. All right, no, don't sweat to keep it. We're going with the last uh, last comment. 
No worries. We're gonna draw a swamp off top. This is greedy as fuck. We might just be dirtling for like five turns, but... If he can't remove the ley line, then we'll be able to fight off his big threats. So... We'll probably just die to a neonate, but we gotta take the faithless. <laughs> I mean, he's still in a fine spot. We have, we have no, can't cast anything. <laughs> It's all good though. We're trying to just play this deck out and see how it plays like a lot. Like, I really don't even care if it win or lose on half of these. We have two unknowns. <laughs> really back here. <laughs> that's that's what that's what my modern looks like. It's like, oh, you're drafting it? Like, no, this is my modern deck. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? I am known as the Jank Master. I've been on 8-rack at a super spiky store for a year. I showed up, moved here. They're like, what are you playing? I'm like, 8-rack. They're like, oh. <laughs> Let us help you learn how to play magic. <laughs> okay, braid's good. But now they play me, they're like, fuck. That's why last night was fun, because everyone was thinking I was on 8-Rack. And like, turn one, Inquisition, they're like, okay. They're like, oh, you splash red. I'm <laughs> like, yep, splash red. Blood Moon. <laughs> Molten Rain. Chandra. So our goal is to stay alive 16 turns. Before he starts hard casting his giant uh, cyclers. Seems seems right. That's kind of my uh, eight rack thought process. That's what the blood moon theory was last time. But you know we're we're a little different than eight rack. We don't want to completely screw ourselves to uh, blood moon. Like we did that one time. This might just whiff entirely, but oh, I got living in. Okay. Oh, Madcap Experiment's coming? He's got no creatures in his graveyard. Um, Madcap and two Desert Ceridons. Probably cycling one here, nope. I guess his, his plan is to come up and hard cast it, which I think is his best option here. If you just joined us, we kept like the greediest of greedy hand, but it had a ley line. What's the madcap experiment gonna wreck us? <sighs> Let's just read it, make sure we understand it. Reveal artifact card. What is he gonna reveal? K command for destroy the artifact, yeah. Platinum Imperion, that's what it is. Madcap Imperion. I think we can start assaulting the hand here, or do we get the rush with Rabble Master? Hmm. Just getting Rabble Master might be good here. We're not, he's not going to discard Madcap. Uh, Lily always feels better, but Rabble's good, man. I gotta figure out his uh, damage add-ups. It's one the first turn, three the second. Rabble is removing the plat. 
Start the beats, Rabble Master. Yeah, I think you guys are right. We're, we're really the uh, aggro deck in a lot of these. And our, our way to get around these complicated strats is just to beat them the fuck down like before <laughs> before they get there. So he's hoping he draws a land here. He's double double cycling to get it. He didn't get it on the first one. Assuming he's gonna get it, and then we'll just do the Colgan's command. Yeah. Why would shock be better? Oh, to shock that, yeah. For the double edicts. I see that. In case he has another mad cap. It's not going to be able to kill us, though, right? Regardless, we get. Okay, so we get another mad cap, like you said. So we just have to dodge another one, a third one. Okay. So we have a nine. So we have lethal, uh, I mean, you got about, still 11, but we'll have lethal next turn. So this will be four. Okay, not quite lethal. Close from just bolting me. At least we get to play with magic a little longer. Guess we'll save cake, man. Okay, now he's at nine. Yeah, now that we got the K command, I don't think he has many ways to beat us. Ley line was just too strong. We kept the one lander with the ley line. Uh, We lost game one, right? Yeah, so we get to play it again. All right. We'll have another match. Uh, assuming we can pull this one out. So we bolt him. He's at four. And then it's lethal next turn with the Culligans. Um, 
Ley line, baby. Yeah, I might as well have one big removal. Does have those big boys. Seems like we got a lot of answer for them. Alright, Leyline. Leyline is pretty strong. I guess he wasn't really going too hard on the living end strat anyways. He was going more for the madcap strat. Okay, one lander. Of course we keep it. Got our twin towers. Neonate or are you faithless? Okay. At least Miss Faithless is only half half as good. Hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If it's your first time, uh, pretty chill stream here. We usually play uh, eight rack or legacy pox mono black. Little splashes here and there, but very much like a black stream. These cards right here are probably uh, seen on the stream more than any two. Dark Confidence is one of our favorites. So. <laughs> we, all right, we deserve this. Electro Dominance is two two and X. Yeah, let that, that lets them do living end, right? Also, I imagine. So um, we'll just have to draw that land. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Alliance. We'll call you. <laughs> um. I think we can wait a turn here. Madcap is a car we're really worried about. He can just... Klez, what up, dude? What up? So, you know, this is the same thing you do with control. It's not always best to turn two Thoughtseize as well as turn one. You, you know, depending on what you're worried about hitting. We know he's got... Uh, Two lands and two unknowns. Alright, we're in it. I kind of want to uh, thought seize now, but we need the land, so. If he's able to madcap, we'll probably chump black with Bob. Following turn. Hope we get a land. Or he could have the one, he only has one card we don't know, so hopefully it's not a mad cap. Nice. So we're gonna get a blood crypt here. We have to shock. All right, triple A line strat. Okay, he's faithless and one other. We just got to dodge a top deck madcap. Hmm. Could Lily here edict? He'll probably do this in response, and then we thought sees. We'll build a hazard at the following turn if he platinums top deck. I kind of like that. This is the best way to to keep him off the Imperion.
see if we get a hit off this. We need to kind of drop cards for Hazaret. See if our sweet tech worked. Well, we got an abraid. Yeah, abraid seems annoying. Yeah, we don't want our mutable just to die. So we basically have to keep, uh, let's see, we have to dodge a, uh, I'm surprised he didn't just cycle and step. Oh, he got it, okay. So we're gonna rely on Hazard to protect Lily for one turn. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the game loves us. Um, okay. His only car was a Desert Ceridon. I don't really care about that. But I'm, I don't want to dump Hazaret. But I do want to up Lily. So we're going to up Lily, dump Hazaret, and then K Command Hazaret back to our hand. Yeah. I think that's good. Never didn't have it. Uh, discard Hazaret. Black. Black. Red. Return target creature from your graveyard. Destroy target artifact. Hmm, Bob's pretty good. We're a little low. We'll take Hazaret. At least now, if he top decks it again. We have an Edict answer, Edict into Hazaret. That puts a little clock on him. We can't dodge th two, three in a row. We can dodge two in a row. The music is just lo-fi hip hop uh, streaming. So I'm, it's just whatever it plays for. I just play different music all day. He said GG. Hey, we got there, boys. Leyline, pretty strong against Mono Red Living End, apparently. Uh, let's run it back. Actually, uh, I need a quick break. I'm expecting something in the mail, and it be important to, to get it. I right, appreciate it. Thanks for stopping in. I'm going to uh, just take a quick break. I'll be right back. I need to run down the mailbox. Uh, but I'll be right back.
All right, my bad, my bad. Fucking package still not here. These motherfuckers. It's raining in Southern California. The whole state like falls apart. Would you like to play first? Yes. Seems like a solid keep. We definitely need our other uh, black source, but we got some strong three mana plays. And we have a decent two mana play, so. These cars all seem pretty fucking shitty. Crick's just Pyromancer, huh? Too much value off this Pyromancer. They won't be able to remand us the first turn, so we'll be able to get a pack right down before remand. It'll probably just get bolted though or something. But that's all good. Okay. You know, in hindsight, let's go back and let's think about that. Assume we knew we were going to draw this land this turn or next turn. He most likely would Pyromancer on turn two. I guess it's not likely. But in the scenario there, we take Romance or one of his other cards. Turn two, he Pyromancers. Turn three, Last Hope, Blowout, Game Over. But I guess if he just held it, might not have been the greatest. We're going to have a lot of options here for turn three. Uh... Yeah, Last Hope kind of blows out Pyromancer. If I knew I was going to get to three lands, we could have let him keep Pyromancer. I think that might have been better. When you're playing these t decks that aren't tier one, you have to really know how to get maximum value out of the cards. What a lightning bolt! What the fuck is that? Awesome bolt. And MTGO apparently blocks LMAO. Hey, appreciate it. You made it. Yeah, we're doing something a little different. We're just streaming a little. Um, I guess the click. Probably best to just veil here. I mean, last hope. Play a little rat moon action to see you talk about it at the start of the stream. It's pretty fun. He's gonna be able to click what? He'll be able to take one of these. So I think, I think I'd rather have last hope out of all these cards. We don't have anything that does what she does. Uh, all these are pretty good. This is this is tough. He might hesitate to click right into her now. You know, that's something. Hell yeah. Well, I'm almost always on 8-rack. I'm just taking a, a quick break. Uh, it's basically black-red uh, mid-range aggro. You see some of the red. It's got, like, lightning bolts. It's got inquisitions. But the, the rat moon is the pack rat is the black, and it runs blood moon. So it's got uh, a lot of value out of the pack rats and... Uh, Was he trying to get me to miss a tick up? It's a lot of fun. It's very much a mid rangey deck. It runs bobs. You can see, yeah, the list shock just linked it. So this should stop him from wanting to click. Click's still a good card. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. This, the list that I copied just 5 0 to League, and we were just casually talking about it. But I was at the store and last night and basically was able to throw together all the cards. So I played it in paper last night for four rounds. And about five extra matches. Um, 
And then today I realized how much surgical extractions had spiked. So I traded basically my surgicals and a couple other cards for uh, for this. I was about 100 tickets shy of this list. So I traded extra cards. Now I basically have nothing extra. I have Mono Black 8 Rag, Demir 8 Rag, and Rat Moon. Oh my goodness. This would shut him down pretty hard, huh? We know he has Remand, though. Mm. He's going to remand whatever we cast, right? He hasn't seen Blood Moon yet, so we don't want to cast it. Blood Moon's the best card, but he's going to counter whatever we do. And everything we have is three mana. I know he was potentially thinking about end step clicking. Oh, he's still thinking about it. Maybe we should have just Blood Moon. This click is flying, right? Yeah. Hmm, maybe we should have just Blood Moon there. I guess he would have remanded it. He still had the remand option, so. He had a lot of cards, a lot of options. We don't, we can't think like that, I think. What we did was fine. We got pressure on him. If he wants to end step click, uh, probably take Blood Moon. Uh, but we have a decent amount of other cards. He's not killing Lily without a bolt. And if he does all that, we should still have aggressive aggro plan. We basically know he's got remand and it's still one thoughts hour. Yeah, EDH is probably the best. If I had to play like one, just one format, where someone asked me like what type of magic they should play, I would just say EDH, yeah. Helps you meet people. I don't I, have, I don't play any EDH, I just, it's funny, my, my cousin completely he owns the biggest edh website and he created it entirely himself like 10 years ago he's a genius and now it's like the biggest edh website ever uh he makes so much money off of the pastor <laughs> but uh yeah he's always trying to get me to play and i'm always like yeah 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 and i get all excited i like come up with this huge deck list and then i make it end up costing too much and i just end up not play better bolt this girl you're gonna regret it Could maybe flashback the pack rat. Yeah, EDH rec. The owner, creator, guy who runs it is one person. He's my cousin. <laughs> Smart dude. I designed jet engines and he makes me look like an idiot. So that gives you an idea. He's pretty darn smart. And practical. He actually makes money off his hobbies. <laughs> he built EDH rec for himself just to help him find EDH decks. It wasn't until two years ago, I was like, what? That site makes money? Is that how that works? <laughs> yeah, if you play EDH, I highly recommend EDH.com. And if you need an EDH uh, rec play mat, I might be able to help you out. Okay. Well, we got a zombie fish. Probably good to ping it. Chump block, zombie fish. Blood moon, kind of. We don't have a swamp. I guess fetch a swamp and then blood moon. It's probably the best. I mean, blood moon shuts off his man land there. Oh, he's got remand. That's right. So Lily's gonna die from this guy. Is it better just to go ahead and get back Pack Rat? No, I guess we just try to, this is gonna be a long game.
I don't think there was any way to get around there. He had seen the Blood Moon. Didn't want to show him K Command. Could have minus the Lily, but I mean, getting rid of that beater is there is pretty good. Um, we're not going to be able to chump block the tar pit. So. <laughs> yeah, A319s and 320s. We do a lot of Airbus uh, stuff. I know all about those jets. Quite a bit, actually. Okay, so does he have Bolt? Uh, I'm pretty sure we get rid of the Rabble Master here. Lily's pretty important. I mean, Lily can bring him back. So let's make him use the Bolt. Because if he, if he has a Bolt, he could Bolt Rabble Master anyways. So I guess, I guess the better play is the block. Make him show us the bolt, which he would have had anyways there. Okay. Hmm. I like the opening with the Inquisition here. We haven't seen his hand in a long time. Probably just stick the Blood Moon. The Goblin doesn't have to attack now. He can come. He can stay back and chump block. Snapcaster remand. Okay, then we can we can kill Snapcaster with Liliana, and then Blood Moon still. Okay. Oh, he let me get it off. Accident? Well, we take the counter scroll now. Yeah, for sure. We could bring back Rabble Master attack, but I think this is smarter. This deck's got a lot of bullshit. If, if I'm basically holding him down the bolts. Hell yeah, Rogue. Okay. So, be able to chump block there. She won't die. Oh, I guess he can he can use his terminate. That's probably what he's gonna do. He's still got a lot of, of value here, so we know he's got to terminate in South Tower. Okay, Lily got some good value there. Could have easily minus her at some point to get a Rabble Master back, but. He's been kind of locking us with remand and counter spells. We haven't really been able to do much. Okay, well we know he's got Thought Scour on a Terminate. Destroy target creature, this is indestructible, okay. Hmm. Could hazard it and Kalidas. He doesn't have a counter spell. What's the, what's the best spell to cast right now? Blood Moon shuts us off Kalidas down the road. For now. It shuts him off Tar Pit, though. Us mutable him Tar Pit. His Tar Pit's pretty strong. And it kind of shuts him down pretty hard on land. He'll be able to get one. But I guess a bl blue, maybe? Maybe a black. Hazard's pretty strong just to get down. He's got Terminate for cult for disguise. That's not good. He'll be able to Terminate still if he fetches a Swamp. But it shuts him off blue. Do we want to shut him off blue here? Can we resist? We're going to take 8 next turn? No, I think we have to... 
I think we have to hazard it. I'm guessing he doesn't have a lot of removal for it. Hmm, did he thought scour into his counter spell? If he did, we might just lose. Nope, okay. Okay, haven't played with Hazard much. I guess you can't block either unless you're held that basically. That's a punt. I was thinking I was gonna block, so. Good to know. I think that came up last night, or in the GP against the enemy Hazard. Try to fire off the K command. They, they would make us discard it. I mean, they would counter that. I think it's worth trying to fire it off. Uh, pull back. Or have them discard. Hmm. We want to do two to it and see if he has the spells. Doing this first, because if he has a counter spell, he's countering to this versus countering the bolt that he might know is coming. Um, by doing this, I'm, I'm kind of broadcasting that I have a bolt in my hand. Uh, but by but him knowing that or thinking that I'm broadcasting it shouldn't outvalue him wanting to not let me get a creature back. So if he has a counter spell, he should do it. And if I want him to counter one of these, it has to be the first one. So, okay. Snap into Thought Scour. Oh, he has a counter squall. Okay. So next turn we'll be able to kill this guy by doing uh, these two, like discarding. He's gonna put me at nine. Hmm, I think we lose. It's tough. I'm not, not great at playing this deck yet. Not being able to block without two cards in hand threw us off because we would have probably done a little different there. Not that term, but the term before. He's basically going to get us to two this turn, so we're, we're, bas we're dead to Counter Squall or Lightning Bolt. Okay. We'll just go to four. Ideally, we'd be down one card so we can swap and then block. That's kind of the best way to do this. But we didn't didn't quite know how the card worked. We know he has a terminate still, so.
Blood Moon. There's no way to cast these spells. There's no way to get them up to block. I guess I can Mutavolt chump the um, Kermag. Oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Playing with all these new cards. Let's just concede. All right, we'll be able to get one more game in here. Thanks for watching, guys. This is this is a. Uh, it's been fun. We're gonna run another one back. <laughs> like my only out is mutable blood move. <laughs> That's all good. I think this was just game one, right? Long game one. We'll be able to block with uh, the traitor. I mean, we'll be able to block with her now at least. So. Okay. Let's see if we can hang in there. <laughs> it's a fun, fun play in this deck, that's for sure. Probably play Carlitas. Oh, he, he can't terminate. Oh, Carlitas is so sick right now. <sighs> I guess I don't want to die to Bolt. Do we attack? Next turn, do we bolt, block, get a zombie? That's lethal, right? You get a zombie, right? Let's say I... Lightning bolt, angler, and then we go to combat, and I block it. We both die. You get it, right? You get the zombie? I haven't played with Cletus in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna swing with Hazard. I guess there's one way to find out. We're just testing. Might as well just fuck around. I'm pretty sure I get a zombie token because they all die at the same time. He sees it hit the graveyard, in theory. Let's see. We can discard. Does two. Attack that and attack. I guess he could flash in. I have to do this first. Well, if he blocks Cletus, we gain life anyways. Attack with everything. Yeah. Oh, God! Fucking bolt down! <laughs> Oh, I blew it. I keep forgetting that I can't, uh... Oh, this just puts us out of lethal. We're gonna find out if this works. That's the whole point of doing this. I'm pretty sure it does.
Okay, give me a zombie. I could keep him alive and toss this, but I might as well. I'm trying, I want to see what happens here. Okay. So we had lethal there like eight different ways, so I apologize for you guys having to see that. But at least you could see how you could have killed him easily <laughs> if you just knew how your own cards work. Just... We're just trying to extend it, make it a more uh, entertaining game. So. I want to keep this to toss in case he tries to do some snapcaster shenanigans. You shouldn't be able to stop this, right? <laughs> what a grindy game. Good match, good stuff. I think I got time for one more real quick, so we'll do it. Uh, run it back. He's on the play. On the play, uh, no, Mo. We should have kept. That's okay. You gotta be careful with those one landers. It's easy keeps and eight racks almost always. A lot of your guards in this game are two, three. Well, we had a thought seize. We had a lot of good stuff. So I guess we'll see how we beat Tron. I could be a molten rain sideboard. Probably gonna lose game one here based on what I'm seeing so far. But hey, Pack Rat can can win if he doesn't have natural tron. Okay. Since we have the three lands, I think we run the pack rat out. Instead of Bob. We'll see how this works out. He's got a Tron, so we're probably just going to give up next turn. <laughs> no, we're going to Bob it. Okay, got a little bit of sideboard action for Tron. You're not beating Natural Tron game one. What threats can he have here? Worm Coil, Karn. Uh, either of those is basically devastating. O Stone, pretty darn good. Okay. Thought seeds would be nice here. Since he's got the O stone, I'm gonna just run out another Bob. Kind of force him to kill Bob. Well, my man can cast Uga now. He's basically got, uh, yeah, big boy. OK. 
Got a little beat down for him here. If I draw another bolt, fucking kill Karn. We have some Planeswalker hate, so those would be good. I think we go hard and make him pop the O-Stone, even if it kills all our stuff. Can we just race him here? No, Karn's too fucking weak. I guess let's keep track of how much damage we do here. I think they should kind of force him to pop the O stone if we do it like this. So we had seven. He could be at 11 right now. Karn would most likely just exile one of these, though. Hanging on with the beat down. Oh, worm coil. Skip that. So the rush wouldn't have been good anyways. You know, plus your car and plus four. No. Okay. Worried about Pekra, huh? Oh, my girl is going to be home soon, so we'll see how this match turns out. Oh, yeah. I forgot all about that card. <laughs> I guess that's pretty good versus him. Uh, there's no way I can kill it. If he attacks, I'm going to double block and uh, shoot. I may have to get rid of it. Rip, Bobs.
Hanging in there, Vistron. I like it. Main board, Blood Moon. Could actually win a game one. Kind of want a red. All right, we're hanging in there. Hey, appreciate you guys tuning in today. It's a little fun with the rat moon action. Gotta take six here. Next turn he can block kill. Uh, the rats will be threes. Bolt would have been nice. So we wait to flash in a rat that's going to be a 3 3. And then we block and ping the other one. So that's how we're going to kill both of these. He's got way too much mana though, so. We're basically hanging on by a thread. He can basically hard cast any of his good stuff. Okay. See how greedy he is. So we got one turn to draw something to, to live. I got a blood moon too. Let's go to game two. Hung in there. It was really looking abysmal. It was, it was a f drew five and then um, just wasn't looking pretty. But uh, we hung in there. Thought it was good. Pushes are not very good. Brutality is not very good. Hope is bad. Kalidus is probably bad too. I like that. Got a good amount of gas. Uh, trying to get up on that molten rain on him. We got a little bit of paint planes rock remover removal in the dread bore. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it's probably the last game of the night. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, stream for a couple hours. I'll uh, upload this on YouTube. So if you join late and want to see the other earlier games or what I was talking about, it I talked a little bit about GP Vegas at the beginning, or GP Los Angeles at the beginning. Uh, first, like, three minutes, I was on mute, and I was giving a big, deep conversation. Um, okay, I like it. It's slow as balls, uh, but we can at least turn three... Uh, molten rain. Is this too slow? Uh, let's keep it. It might just be too slow. Answers for Karn, he usually already made you do something, but it's still nice to have a clean answer. I didn't want to open Muta Vault because uh, see what I might draw next turn. I guess we don't run any double black anymore. Oh, that's good. So it may have been good just to. Uh, Okay, we'll see how Molten Rain works. Okay, he's got a power plant. So which one do we hit? We never saw his hands, so we're not sure. Did I pay two life last time? I think I did. Whoops. Okay, so we got a power plant. I think we kill, we still keep shutting him down. We're going up on lands. He would just, he could just float it, doesn't matter. So. Try to just keep going after the land I've already hit. It's important enough for him to tutor again, so. I'm guessing between the Blood Moon's main board and the Molten Rain sideboard, you have decent, decently better win rate against Tron than 8-Rack, so. We showed how tough Grixis Death Shadow is, though, jeez. We don't know how to play these, this deck very well, either, so that's part of it. Okay. Certainly better than the Rabble Master. Okay, well, he's at least two turns off Tron, so that's good. Oh, baby. I love it. It's weird with Rout Master, it automatically takes your goblins into attack. Because they have to attack. Obviously, it makes sense. But it's, it's a little weird as you're used to MTGO. I punted a little bit earlier. Just like... Not attacking with that one, because, like, attack? Yeah, like, what? What happened? <laughs> Alright, get Rectron. I 
All right, Bob, drop me some gas. Let's see, we can hit for four, six, eight. We can hit for 10. So any damage would, would... Neither of those is what we need. Oh, beautiful, it's a goblin. We haven't had an interaction with Rabble Master before. Right? It should make him, it should be that one damage you're missing on the lethal. The Rabble Master should have six attack now. Or five rather, I meant. But that should be lethal, right? Yeah, exact lethal. Yeah, okay. Mutable Rabble Master interaction. Forgot about he does has goblins that were part of what he's doing. Okay, so on the play with land destruction, basically made Tron our bitch. We just gotta uh, hang on for our fucking lives here and hope he doesn't hit natural Tron before we can Blood Moon. I guess you mulligan for Blood Moon or Molten Rain pretty hard. Um, or maybe a super aggro hand. Culligans can hit O-Stone. So O-Stone is really his best way to stop you from going wide. kind of like it. This might be just terrible, but... Let's see if he reveals. If it's something big, we might just thought see it's just a lamp. Let's see if we can get a hit off. Position. If we can get a map, that'd be great. Let me take Sylvan Scrying. He's got natural fucking Tron, this guy. So we need a Blood Moon hard. We can force him to sack his Ballista on Bob. Hmm, I guess just hitting both these right now isn't bad either. I'm doing this for tempo. I'd rather save Thoughtseize, but... Mind power plant sanctum. One unknown. Didn't want him to land the O stone and the walking ballista can kill Bob, so we kind of had to get rid of both that turn. Killing me. Not looking good for our heroes here. I think you gotta mulligan at least once to try to get uh, Blood Moon or Molten Rain. Alright, Bob, drop me some gas, baby. Blood Moon. It's not bad. Hmm, is it even worth it here? He's gonna be able to cast, he's Tron, So he'll be able to cast everything. He only draws one a turn, so you have to fire it off here. Oh, we actually got Nature's Claim. Actually got some. So it's, it's just race now.
He's got a lot of top decks that can kill us, so. Map's fine. Think was fine. Okay, survive a turn. Come on, Bob, draw me some gas, baby. Blood Moon. I like where you're going, Bob. Basically, that's a mountain. That's fine. Just leave it as a mountain. These are mountain, mountain, swamp, so I guess. We have an answer for Karn. Not Ugin, though. Ugin would just wipe us out. So we gotta hope we dodge Ugin here. I think we just gotta survive this turn. We got him at nine. Next turn, we're going to attack for um, ten. Okay. I think we got him. Let's see if we can, uh, if it works. Let's go. Bob for the win. Blood Moon was pretty deep. We wouldn't have got it without our friendly neighborhood Bob triggers. Let's see, four, six, eight, uh, plus damage, yep. Hey, beat Tron there, boys. Get ready to end the stream. Our nemesis Tron. See, you can just run him over with creatures. Don't want to make him discard. Uh, let's see what we had coming. Certainly better game against Tron with uh, Blood Moon and the Molten Rain sideboard. Um, not a bad game against Dredge with the Ley Lines. Um, kind of tighten up the board a, uh, a little bit. This is just a direct copy of uh, Spanky's deck. But yeah, Rat Moon. Key is black red mid range. Very good black and red cards uh, that synergize decently well. Uh, you know, Fatal Push doesn't need any synergies. Very good. Inquisition. Uh, also very good. Bolts, very good. Lava Mancher's are good as a one of. I can see why I had it. Pretty uh, pretty strong card. The four Dark Confidants, I mean, MVP. Some combination of really good Rakdos removal. Planeswalker, instant speed, thanks for um, Gurmags, stuff like that. Platinum Imperions. Uh, and of course, your Pack Rats. So the very first game of the stream was uh, we got a Pack Rat and a Blood Moon and just ran the guy over. So just to show you how it works. Culligan's just a really good card, very flexible. Uh, obviously, the Blood Moons can really steal some games, help you versus Tron, uh, other just annoying lands. These two guys are just really uh, really some houses here. I guess they're like our one-of creatures. Uh, Rabble Master is obviously really good. And these are kind of our one-ofs here. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys liked it. Uh, drop a follow on the stream. Just, uh, if you haven't, do apostrophe poll and vote on which version of 8-Rack you want me to uh, write a sideboard guide for next and practice with and all that. So we spent the first last three months doing blue-black. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I hope I've seen a lot of other people try blue-black 8-Rack. And the general theme is, is, wow, this is a lot of fun and wow, this is hard to play. <laughs> so uh, personally, I think right now for a very big event, it's too hard to play. Um, I think by round seven, eight, nine, you're just really fatigued with all the. You're basically playing a blue control deck, uh, even though it's eight racky. But your games are all so close, and you have to really dig deep. So, uh, mono black's really good right now. But uh, vote if you want white splash, red splash, uh, other deck. Uh, until we decide on which version of eight rack, we'll probably keep running this. Uh, I want to at least write a basic sideboard guide for this, and then uh, take it through some leagues. So. We're going to take this through some leagues, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody.
Make sure I didn't miss anybody in chat. Uh, yep, Heresy, I appreciate it. Agathokes, Rogue, I appreciate the host. And keep up your streaming. If I see you streaming, I'll, I'll be sure to host. Shock, thank you. Aetas, you're a new guy, new follower, MVP. Klez was here on his, uh, we'll say don't sweat the alliance. We'll just call it that. The Doctor ODD. Hey, I appreciate it, fellas. We'll keep jamming. This is a lot of fun. Uh, if you're looking for something different, creature beatdown. Hey, works. All right, fellas. I'll upload this, but yeah, peace out.